Hi lovelies, welcome back once again to Vibas Kitchen and I believe you are all doing great. Today I'm back and I want to share with you how to make this simple and super duper garri and beans recipe and I hope you like it. Please stay tuned as always to the end and be inspired. Without further ado lovelies, let's dive right into the video. Into the saucepan I'm adding my black eye beans. You can use any beans of your choice but the most common beans that we use in Ghana is the black eyed beans. Next I'll proceed to wash them nicely, add some water and then set them aside for about two hours if possible do this overnight okay and it's going to help soften the beans even double or triple them up okay and this will help reduce cooking hours as well. Two hours later I'm adding my salted fish Next, my prawns powder for flavor. Next, I'm going ahead to add my homemade all purpose seasoning. Okay, and next, I'm adding my bay leaf. And finally, I'm adding my shrimp tablet. I'm not adding salt now because of the salted fish, but later, when it's not enough, I'll then add salt to taste. Okay, so now stir everything together, and I'm adding my onions and now salt to taste. Yeah. And I will allow the beans to continue to cook whilst I come in to stir periodically, okay? This house smells good already. The water is already drying out and the beans is not perfectly cooked yet. So I'm adding more water to help with the cooking process, okay? Again, I'm adding salt because it's needed. And I'll stir and stir and stir until well incorporated. If you want the beans to cook faster, you can add your baking soda and that is going to be as quick as possible. About 40 minutes later, our beans is getting ready. I'm adding butter for more flavor. You can as well add any cooking oil of your choice or just up this part out, okay? By adding the butter to the beans to allow it to melt through it is a game changer and I love that. From all indications, our beans is so ready, so I'll set it aside. However, if you want the beans mushy, then go ahead and cook some more and you'll be good to go. Next, in a frying pan, I'm adding my zumi palm oil. You can use any palm oil of your choice. But as Ghanaians, we all know that zumi palm oil always takes our gobe, our gari and beans, our stews, and our sauces to the next level. However, if your palm oil is not great enough, you can always make it delicious by adding such ingredients onions, bay leaf, prawns powder and pepper sauce to make it great. You can choose to add any seasonings or flavors of your choice, okay? So now I will let them fry to release their flavors together for about 3 minutes. And lovely 3 minutes later our extremely delicious zumi palm oil is ready. And having that black tin under the palm oil is one of the qualities of zumi palm oil and I assume you all know that. So lovelies, we are all done and I'm serving myself. My beans is not all that mushy but very very tender. Now I'm adding my gari and a video of how to make your own gari at home is playing on my channel. So I'll leave a link for you all to check it out, okay? Next I'm adding my zumi palm oil which I'm so blown away with the outcome. Next, I'm adding my acrylic or spice plantain fritters, which I'll bring the video to you very soon on this channel. So stick and stay and be inspired with my amazing recipes. Lovelies, if it's your first time ever seeing my video, hey, you are warmly welcome. I hope you've been inspired enough to join this amazing family. So kindly click on the subscribe button, which is for free. And don't forget to also click on the bell button. To receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos. Whilst at it, please click on the all option in order not to miss any of my videos. To support your girl, please don't forget to like, share for others to see, and don't forget to comment for me to know your thoughts about the recipe. Also, help me recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes. Lovelies, for more of my videos, please follow me on Instagram, like and follow my Facebook page. Follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter for more updates. I want to say a very big thank you to all my followers and subscribers for holding your girl down. I can't thank you enough. God richly bless you. Thanks for liking my videos. Thanks for sharing and thanks for commenting. I appreciate you all. 
food is ready and you are all invited mm, so yeah thanks for watching see you all in my next one until then stay blessed and stay safe Toodles. peace out